Welcome back everybody. It is the 26th of May and I'm over here at Michael's. He was uh, had the tractor here last night and was planting this field up here and there's a big long beard that was out in the field right before dark and just pulled up here and I've heard him gobble like four times already. He's probably 100, 150 yards off the edge of the corner of the field up here roosted so Michael's meeting me up here in a little bit, and I think we're just going to set up right in the field. Hopefully he comes up the hill when he flies down, and Mike can get a, Michael can get a crack at him. Kaylee's hunting a bird uh, back at home this morning, and she's got the good 4K camera. I'm going to be rocking the GoPros this morning. Our other camera's getting work done on it, so we don't have it. We'll see what happens. It's a beautiful, frosty morning. morning he's roosted about 150 yards right off that corner right there he gobbling. gobbling his ass off Is he? he's gobbling in the pitch black he might not be as far off of it as I'm thinking that guns ready to roll We're all set up. We got the strutter out here in this part of the field. We got the Jake set up right out there. Bird roosted right here and one roosted over to our left. That one might be a Jake to our left. Sounds like it. That's the gobbler over there by the sounds of the gobble. Michael seen this turkey out right up here yesterday. I kind of like how much cover we have with that grass. Should work out pretty good. There's three of them. Two of them just gobbled over here, right? That one was over there. We're videoing this old school with the old iPhone here. <laughs> I'm gonna put a GoPro on your head, Michael. That's on, right, Michael? That little bit of grass ain't gonna hurt shit, right? No, heck no.
just wait, let him get out there. No, I just think it's behind the tree. I can... No, no, you can't because you can see the gun. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Just wait a second. Let him get, let him get his man to us. Take your time, like, go and just let them, let them work the decoy a little bit. What is this thing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's trying to run away with no head. <laughs> Gosh dang, Michael, you're pretty good at this. <laughs> you turkey hunted a total of like an hour and two years and killed three birds. <laughs> when he gobbled over there. I thought he was coming out over here. But I just peeked over to the right and I'm like, holy shit, there he is. <laughs> I didn't even know. I was looking behind us. What time is it? I don't know. I got my video on my phone going. I don't even think it's six o'clock. It's got to be six by now. Do you think? Could be before. Five forty. No way. Five forty-five. <laughs> I think that's the earliest. I think he flew down, ran out to the field, and you killed it. The sun's not even up yet. Unreal. He beat the snot out of your deep. Yeah, he did. His suckers destroyed. He was not happy about that. Not an old bird, but nice bird. That other one was just about to the edge of the field. That's why I was looking. That last time that other one gobbled, he was right on the edge. I just think this one was definitely a dominant. Oh, one yeah. For sure. <laughs> he, he beat the snot out of this decoy. Oh, beautiful. He's absolutely beautiful, Michael. You crushed his head. He's got a nice beard on him, too. I knew when uh, I hit him with those soft yelps first thing and he just double and triple gobbled that it was on. Hey, the field was even dished, so it went in. That stuck in the ground nice and easy. Yeah. Well, I thought we had a pretty decent plan when I, as soon as I saw him last night. Well, I pulled in here to plant last night, and uh, I had talked to Cliff a couple times throughout the day, and I came down this edge right behind where we were sitting on the other field, and he was right over here, right in this, just above this little sw gully swale here in the field, strutting at 8.30 at night. And of course, you know, he saw me and he kind of, you know, just didn't really even care. I took a video of my phone and he walked back into the woods. But I said, boy, you're in trouble now that we no. know exactly where, where you're at and what you're doing. Yeah. And, uh. Boy, it's a good thing you weren't any later. You just, we just shot down and killed it. <laughs> Sat down and killed it. <laughs> well, he, he was gobbling his head off and... He flew down within 10 minutes of us sitting down. Oh, yeah. This other bird, there's two of them. 
this bird was actually roosted the farthest away from us. The other bird was right, I mean, the last gobble that other turkey had was right on us. He was within feet of the edge of the field when you said this bird, I was actually looking the other way. I don't, I think that might have been a jake though. You think so? The way he gobbled. Yeah, it, it, it sounded different than this one for sure. But I did see two last night, I think. One of them had a white head, but there was only one strutting. And just the way this one acted with that, with that full strut decoy, I'm pretty sure he was the oh, yeah. boss of it. Oh, absolutely. He hit the edge of the field and just ran to that sucker. That, tur that, that decoy has killed a lot of big turkeys. <laughs> He's been strutting a lot, man. Look at the, look at the tips. Oh, yeah. Well, he's been owning this up here, I bet, all year. Definitely not a Carlsberg turkey, but <laughs> not bad. Heck either. of a nice turkey, nonetheless. Well, Cliff's, uh, Cliff's <laughs> guiding service breaks again. <laughs> nah, if Kaylee can get one this morning. How much you want for the shotgun? You love that. You never missed with it. No. <laughs> Perfect. Especially when that dot stays on like it's supposed to. Yeah, no kidding. You're when you settle that dot, they're in a world of shit. <laughs> I think he was standing just about by that tree with the Y in it when he that last gobble. That's why I was looking. That's right where I was looking when you said here he comes, and I figured right here somewhere and I wasn't anticipating the other side of the field. <laughs> I wasn't either. But I'm glad because... You had better shooting at that Well, not other. only that, the video was, you know, you could see so much better over there. Oh, yeah, that grass. Your success rate's pretty unbelievable. You, you went on three turkey hunts that have lasted a total of like an hour and killed three turkeys. Maybe less than that. Yeah. Killed... Oh, this one was only like I got here. We just sat down. I pulled. Cliff told me to be here at five fifteen. I pulled in the field. Of course, the cows got out at two thirty in the morning. But either way, I pulled in the field here at five twenty-five, and the turkey was dead at five forty-five. And it took us five minutes to walk to the spot. <laughs> and Cliff about five minutes setting decoys up. So our hunt was literally ten minutes, and that's not exaggerated. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I think uh, what a difference it is to hunt turkeys that I don't think have really been hunted. I know, yeah, I know he hasn't been hunted, unless it's this, these, not, you know, not on These this. birds are up here on Michael's property, and you can't see this at all from the road, so it's kind of a hidden honey hole, you know. You don't have people driving by and trying to get access to the neighboring properties to get in here to hunt these turkeys, so it's just kind of like his own little oasis up here and those birds they acted like they hadn't heard a turkey call all year no. they i gave them some light yelps with my he cluck double gobbled as soon as you lightly yelped at them <laughs> yeah as soon as uh that bird hit the ground i just gave him a few yelps and man they just screamed and ran right in literally ran Well, hopefully Kaylee has a similar hunt this morning. I hope so too. If she did, she's at the house already. Yeah. Well, I was pretty shocked. I pulled in the driveway. I got here early this morning about five o'clock and I opened the door and about a few seconds after opening the door, I heard this turkey gobble. It was pitch black. I'm like, well, there he is. <laughs> he was down a little bit from where I thought he was, but Pretty close. Yeah. Close enough to get to the field within five or ten minutes once he hit the ground. How many acres do you have left to plant up here, Michael? Uh, Fifteen or so. So you'll get that done right probably first thing this morning then? Yeah, I gotta get some fitting tools ready to go first. Anyway. Well, we took we took out a turkey that would likely be eating your corn seed, yep. so we're really doing farm work. We might ought to clock in, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I'll tell Uncle Ronnie to check my timesheet for 5 a.m. this morning. I would. <laughs> That's what I would do. 
Oh shit, we're doing the farm favors here. What's your guess, Michael? Nine. I think he's more than that. I'm gonna say nine and a half. It's pretty long. Yeah, Holy shit! That sucker's 10 inches long! That's. <laughs> You're only an inch from Carl. Look at that. You wanna know I'll where, be damned. You wanna know where Carl spanks it though? Yeah, the spurs. <laughs> That's well, a long beard for a two year old. Like three quarters. Yeah. That's a long beard though for what looks appears to be a two year old turkey. Yeah. You've been feeding him good up here. Yeah, well he acted like a two year old when he came out. Yeah. That's a heavy turkey too, it's big. I yeah, bet you, you it's 20 pounds. Grab it. I think it I think it is. Oh yeah, it's heavy. No doubt about that. Even for and usually this time of May they're smaller, you know, they've been really Getting after it. Beautiful tail fan. He was just. Oh. He really skewered his head. The three and a half inch. Well, it worked out perfect when you called and he stretched out. Because oh, I didn't yeah. want to do it until he. I don't know how you can see it, if you can see it really in the video, but when he gobbled there, you could see all the uh, air, you know, the warm air coming out and his breath. It's pretty cool. And then you That was the him. last breath. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> he was probably just about sucking in when the shot hit him in the head. He's been, a, he's been strutting machine. <laughs> 